So normal well dot z is equals to what? So let's get back to our blackboard and understand how we will get the z. So consider that we have a graph paper and we have a vector which is pointing to a direction. And if we look at its axis, this is the y axis and this is the x axis. This combinedly forms a triangle. So this is a vector, it's one axis and it's another axis. This is the magnitude of the vector. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. These can also be seen as hypotenuse, tangent or perpendicular and base. And what Pythagorean theorem tells us is h square hypotenuse square is equals to tangent square plus base square. If we convert this equation for a vector, then vector's magnitude square is x square plus y square. So this becomes the equation for a two-dimensional vector. The same applies for a three-dimensional vector. The magnitude of the vector square is equals to x square plus y square plus z square. We know another thing about the normalized vectors that their magnitude is always 1. So the square of 1 is 1 and what we get in this side is x square plus y square plus z square. And the normal value is always a normalized vector value. So we know that the magnitude of it is going to be 1. What we will do here is we will pack x square plus y square. And we will shift it to this side. So when we will shift it to this side, this becomes 1 minus x square plus y square is equals to z square. Based on this equation, we can calculate our z because x and y we get from the alpha channel and green channel. So we can use this equation directly to find out the z or we can optimize this equation a bit more. So there is one more magical thing about the dot product is that if we get the dot product of the same vector, vector v1 dot vector v1. This will give us the magnitude of vector v. And we know that the magnitude square is equals to x square plus y square. So we will replace this equation with 1 minus dot product of vector x, y the vector that is produced by this x value and this y value. And we will use the dot product of the same vector which will give us z square. So further our final equation becomes z equals to square root of 1 minus dot v x y comma v x y. So this is the equation that we are going to use to find out the z. Our equation became square root of 1 minus dot product of vector that is formed by x, y, which is normal well, comma, normal well. So this will give us a z. And we have packed it inside normal value. And we are able to use normal well in place of vector x y because z here is already zero. So that's why we will take the dot product of normal well with normal well. And we will return normal well. So we will save our shader and see if, if we get any compiler error or not. So we get two errors, one is in line 93. So we will investigate underscore normal map, which is declared as a float 4, but because it's a texture, it's not a color. 
we will use sampler 2D and then we will investigate normal text chord which is a texture chord 4 that looks right. So let's save this and go back to our